number of different reasons for the various upgrades. Um, one of them is seismic. The facilities don't meet the seismic criteria of modern day facilities. And given it's a dam and we have a public population downstream, um, we want to make sure that the seismic improvements match today's, we plan on keeping the facility around for the next 100 years. And uh, with respect to the powerhouse equipment, it's just at end of life. It's reached the end of its, its ability to run reliably and so we're modernizing it, replacing it, reusing equipment where we can. The most challenging part is the part we're doing initially, which is geotechnical improvements to the right abutment to mitigate failure of that right abutment during a seismic event. That's not the largest component. The largest component is probably the powerhouse improvements, which is all the generators, turbines, and associated equipment, which will be taking place starting about 2015, 2014. The generators uh, benefit from modern technology and design, so they'll be more efficient. Um, the insulation these days are better and so on. Uh, some of the components actually are very robust. The original rotors, for instance, we're going to be reusing those and the, cost of the, the savings, co of course, will be uh, attributed to the project and, and reduce the impact of the repairs. They just don't make them that, that robust anymore. Uh, we wouldn't get the same quality of the product for the same price. Other things they did right was the actual dam itself, the main structure of the dam below the spillway gates. That was built uh, very robustly and we have had some improvements on it but nothing of, of great significance like we we're doing with say the spillway gates. Not only we improve the, the seismic response of those gates but uh, the ability that when they need to be called on in an emergency they will be available and they'll be reliable. Uh, that's something we're very very proud of. This is sort of a one-shot project. We're going to do everything that needs to be done uh, to keep this facility running for the next 80 years. We're starting now. We just got our Utilities Commission approval and uh, we'll begin March 1st and we intend on completing the project in 2018.